All right, all right, all right. Sample question two. Given that the weight of M cylinder is 114.73 gram, and the weight of in brackets, and the weight of in brackets cylinder plus water is 211.69 gram, what is the weight of water? So look up, please. That's quite simple. If I look at what I have there, I'm giving number one to so given. The first I'm giving there is what? Weight of. What's the value there? 114.73 gram. What else am I giving there? I'm giving weight of. Okay, so cylinder plus water, the weight is equal to what's the value? 211.69 so one, one gram. They're asking you what is the weight of water. How do we get that? Huh? Subtraction. So it simply becomes the weight of cylinder plus water, which is 211.69 so one, one minus the weight of empty cylinder. 114.73. Please your value. 96.96 gram. So that's your answer, please. It's that simple. Sample problem three. Sample question three. Assume the volume of water to be 96.67 ml and the volume of water as measured by the cylinder to be 100.00 ml to be 100.00 ml what is the percentage error what is the percentage error what is the percentage error all right, solution please. How do you find that? What's the true value there? Huh? Now, what's your true value there? Huh? Look at the question there. Please. What's the first word in that question? As you. As you. It says you as you. If I am assuming something, it means it is not real. Assume what? Assume the volume. You are assuming the volume of what? The volume of water. You are assuming the volume of water to be what? 96.67. For kind of loud, that's your assumption. So it becomes what there? You observe value. That's it. Now look at what is there. It now says, and the volume of wet of water as measured by the cylinder. So when you now use the proper measuring instrument, you now get what there? 100. So 100 is the correct answer or the true value. Why the assumed one becomes what there? You observe value. It's not that difficult. All right. Let's give you value, please. So it becomes a true value, 100.00 if you choose to. Minus assumed value or observed value. How many get there? Ninety-six point six seven all over true value. Now you see why the true value should be noted. Because I know that even if you take assumed minus true, you can take absolute value and get the correct answer. But what about denominator? So all over the true value, which is one hundred. Please let me reduce this one hundred, please. Uh, it's not necessary. One hundred. Uh, give me a numerator. What do you have there? 3.33 divided by 100. What do you have there? Times 100%. Please, you're looking for percentage error. So this times 100%. This will cancel this. And that becomes what there? 3.33%. Yes, thank you. You have this. Right, you're done. Next up, please. Please, these are all 
dimensions that they will give you percentage error. These are the I'm giving like so these examples at your typical past questions. I'm just changing the values and let's work on it, okay? So if you're giving a question on percentage error, it will take any of these forms that we've done so far. The most popular is what we want to do now. This one we want to do now was set, um, I, I didn't see 2024, it was set 2023, 2022, and 2021. So there's a high chance that you might see this stuff. Take this shot down, please. Example number one now. Sample problem four. Sample problem four. Sample problem four. Sample question four, please. It says a 25 ml that's milliliter cylinder has a diameter of 1.90 cm and height of 9.70 cm. What is the percentage error? All right. How do we solve this question? Then first things first. Let's list out the parameters. The first thing we get there is what? Huh? Volume. Volume. What is the volume there? Huh? The first thing I'm giving there was 25 milliliter. What does 25 milliliter represent? Volume. What does milliliter represent? Volume. Volume. So they say 25 milliliter. The first thing you have this word there, volume of the cylinder. All right. So first is first, I'm giving volume. Volume of cylinder. Uh, what's the value there? 25 milliliter. All right, that's the first thing there. What else do you have there? Diameter. But two, I have the diameter. Um, that's, let's call this a D. Your value there is 1.90 cm. Uh, what else can you have there? Number three. What do you have there? Height. Height. H. What's your value there? 9.70 cm. All right, so let's know how do you find percentage error with this? What do you do? Calculate the volume of the cylinder. But you give us volume already here now. So the concept is simple. Whenever you have percentage error, it's always a true value minus observed value over true value. For this case here, we know that the true value is what there? 25 ml. So how do you get observed value? That's the same hold. From your given parameters there, you are expected to do what there? Find the volume of the cylinder. At this point, your limitation will now be, do you know your mensuration table? By mensuration table, I mean the things of volume of shapes and area of shapes. In this case, they mentioned cylinder. What if they had mentioned a cube point? What is the formula for the volume of a cube point? So for most persons here, the, the, uh, um, the first uh, problem here would always be knowing your mensuration formula, the area and volume of shapes. That's the first problem there. But luckily for you, in all your past questions, they give you a value for volume. They give you the formula. But what they don't give to you? What you <laughs> if they don't give to you, what to do is simple. Uh, what to do is simple. All right, back to base. So I'll say, what if they don't give you a resolution? Then what do you do? Now try to cram all those volume of shapes from primary school. Such a problem. So what did I do in my time? Very simple. No stress, just go and buy my set. Just buy my set. When you buy my set, check that yellow thing there. The formulas are there. So don't stress me, don't stress me. Go buy my set. Of course, it's legal expo. Just do like you want to sharpen pens to. Eh? Don't, don't make it so do collect. See, Nigerian lectures are very wicked. They will say it's expo. Just do styles that you want to sharpen pens to, right? Just flip small, you see there. You go and buy my set. You go and buy my set. So that problem has now been solved. That your money. Now, that one aside. Alright, so look up. Look up. Our task here is to find volume. Recall. 
recall volume of cylinder, volume of cylinder. Your formula there is pi r squared h, that's your volume. In your exam, as we'd see, what they will give you is that take V as equal to 3.14 r squared h. It's the same thing. Please. In the class question, they will tell you that you take V as equal to 3.14 r squared h. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Right? But let's use pi for now. Let's use pi for now. If you're using pi, there is still another problem again here. There is still another problem here. Please watch this, please. That's a good value. Uh, first is first. Let's get R from D. Of course, R. Of course, R is equal to D over 2. And that's equal to what's D? Give me value, please. 0 0.95 in what? Yeah. Alright. So look at this piece. Therefore, V will now be equal to pi uh, pi into R squared 0 0.95 all squared times H. The value of H here is 9.7. I have 9.70. Um this is actually 32 bars. I have to say, how do you get pi in the calculator? Check, there's pi there. But if you can't get pi, the value of pi, you can open a bracket, type 22 over 7, that's pi. We can just type 22 over 7 in bracket, close the bracket, then type this type, what your value is? Sorry? Sorry? 27. 27.51. What's your unit? Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This value is it correct? Yes. 27.50. Alright. Um, we've got this. Okay, what's the unit? Yeah? You got this by taking arrow square. Please, your arrow. What was the unit? CM. So if I'm squaring the CM, it becomes what? CM, CM squared for this times H. Your H, what was the unit? CM. So CM squared times CM, which is what there? CM cube. So I have CM cube. Alright, so for this problem here, you can see that in this case here, the true value is what there? Lesser than what there? Observe value. I mean? Yes, yeah, look at this. You can see the true value is lesser than the observed value. What do we do? We we'll swap them, as I told you earlier. But then the problem is this, oh. Look at what you're working with. This man, what's a unit? <laughs> Milli of liter. This man, yeah, what's a unit? <laughs> Centimeter of liter. <laughs> Good one. Question, am I converting? Hey, yes. CM cube and milli of liter. Am I converting? Yes. Some of you say no. Are you telling me that CM cube and milliliter are the same units? Yes. Huh? I didn't say liter. I said the milli of the liter. The same thing. 